Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am super excited to go over this 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara with the 4xe package. So this one is a hybrid. It is stock number 14710Z. I am here at Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2021 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xe comes with the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It's paired up with the hybrid system, which gives you a combined horsepower total of 375 horse and 470 foot pounds of torque. It's gonna get you 22 mile miles on just the electric engine and has a 49 mile per gallon equivalent. It also is gonna get you 20 miles per gallon with just the gas engine. This Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. It is 100% ready to go. This is a one owner, clean title history, clean Carfax out of Michigan. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, start it up. We're gonna take a look under the hood, show you all the options and check out the Sky One Touch as well. And just give you the most accurate representation that I can of the vehicle. Hydro blue pearl coat is the color. Paint coat is PBJ. Shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, stay up to date and current on our ever changing and vast Jeep Wrangler inventory. So you do not miss out on gems like this one. It comes with the 20 inch gloss black painted alloy wheels and it has Bridgestone Dueler HL tires. These are 275.55 R20s. I would say they have probably about 60% of the tread left on them. And the frame and underbody for being a Michigan vehicle looks really, really good. Front fender is in great shape. Hydro blue, one of my favorite colors on the Wranglers. You get the LED headlamps, running lights, and running lights in the fenders, as well as the fog lights on there. Front bumper is absolutely perfect. No dents or dings on that. And we're gonna turn on all these lights at the end of the video so you can see how bright they are. You get the seven slotted grill with the silver inserts on there. Pretty typical of the Sahara package. The hood is in excellent condition, no dents or dings on there. And the passenger side front fender is absolutely perfect as well. Passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. And hydro blue pro coat. It's got a lot of metal flake in it. One of my favorite colors, like I said, on the Wranglers. And you get the Jeep climbing up the windshield there. Windshield's in nice shape. And as you go down this side of this 2021 Jeep Wrangler, take note of how clean the body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by, you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the Jeep, hear the Jeep, and have confidence in what you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, it was helpful, that Brett sent you, and then I can keep doing these videos for our great customers all over the United States. Uh, back wheel's in excellent shape. Four wheel disc brakes on there. Back tires have just as much tread as the front tires and the frame and underbody. Like I said, for being a vehicle from Michigan, you really couldn't tell. Must not have driven it in winter. You get the nice running boards on there. Let's check the door hinges. Always something you want to check on these Wranglers. Make sure that they're not bubbling up. These all look really good. Very nice, like they're brand new. Didn't see any corrosion on them. We did a demo on how to take your JL doors off. If you want to check that out, that's in the description below. Also in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to that video. Coming around to the back, you get the rear bumper parking sensors, the towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You get the matching spare tire and wheel. And you can see that's just how much tread is on those tires brand new so the tires on it are in pretty nice condition you also have the led tail lamps and you get the 4x e logo which i think looks really good back storage area get the front hard top case you get the alpine subwoofer back here with the premium sound system this is your charging bag and your charger is in here so you can plug this into a 120 outlet 120 volt outlet and it's going to be about 12 hours to charge it 
storage area back here. You also have door hinge, roof, and windshield bolts. But if you plug it into a 240, if you get a 240 charger, it only takes about a little over two hours. You can take these side windows out. We did a demo on how to take those out. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. The inside looks really good and we'll put, open up that sky one touch top in just a second here. You get these seven slotted gate back here. The JL badge with the two door, four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water floating and tire width and overall width. Rear gate shuts nice and solidly. Coming around the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. I didn't see any scuffs, scrapes, scratches, chips. I didn't see anything. This thing is just in fantastic condition. Back wheel is in excellent shape as well. And down the rest of the side of the vehicle, the hard top and the doors all look really good. This is where you charge your vehicle. Just plug it in there and then as it's charging, the light will change color to let you know what it's doing. You get the trail rated badge, and uh, these door hinges are absolutely perfect as well. It does have the enter and go system, just have to have the key fob in your pocket, it'll automatically unlock. Heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring on those mirrors as well. Take a quick look at the back seats, they are in fantastic condition, no rips or tears on them. And now the only real difference between the 4xe Wrangler and the gas-powered Wranglers, on the interior anyways, is this seat folds up like so, and then this folds down. So it is not completely flush and level with the back storage area, but that's really the only major difference on the interior between a gas one and a hybrid one, and that's because the batteries are underneath that seat there. Has the topographical all-weather formats back here, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and 115, 150 watt plug-in. Child safety locks on the back doors, and the inside and bottoms of the doors all look really good. And I want to show you no Canadian Jeeps here. Up front, the Sahara package gives you the black leather bucket seats. No rips or tears on these seats. They are in fantastic condition. You get the Sahara stitched into the backrest. Driver's seat height adjuster. You get the topographical all-weather floor mats up here as well. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel. And the other thing that's different on the hybrid is these buttons right here. So you can go uh, hybrid mode, you can go full electric, and then e-save, which is basically just using the gas engine so that it recharges those batteries a little bit as you're driving and you can select everything right there. It's really easy, power locks, power mirrors. Let's hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. You get the Sahara 4xE animation at the beginning there. Digital speedometer, and you can see this one has 24,766 miles. I am amazed at how nice of condition it is for 24,000 miles. Uh, you get your battery charge right there, uh, range on that battery time you can change those corners to read pretty much whatever you want this is the also the other thing that is different on a hybrid is this instrument cluster obviously with the battery charge left on it comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel cruise controls on the right bluetooth and information center controls on the left and you do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel this one comes with the 8.44 c radio it does have the factory navigation system there is highway 41 so you can see that is working perfectly you get am fm and sirius xm radio capabilities on here you also have your climate controls on here which includes the heated seats heated steering wheel and your backup cam which they've made those backup cams uh hd nice and crystal clear so you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time. And then you get all your different apps on here. It does have off-road pages, projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen. We did a demo on Android Auto with uh, an 8.4. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. And then your off-road pages. We'll get those load while they're loading down here. Your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, your heated seats, heated steering wheel control, stability control, parking sensors, speed select crawl control, and you can mute, mute the radio. And then I'll show you this button here in just a second. 
And then there are your off-road pages. You get your steering angle. As I turn the steering wheel, you can see that angle changes. The wheels actually turn up top on the display. You get latitude, longitude, altitude on there. Your transfer case if you're in too high or four high or four low. Your accessory gauges and then your pitch and roll, which is really handy if you're doing a lot of off-roading. So this button right here is max regeneration. It'll actually use the momentum of the vehicle and slow it down with the brakes to recharge the batteries. Um, you almost don't even need the brake pedal when that is turned on. It's pretty interesting to drive with. AUGS, USB, and USB-C. You get four auxiliary upfit switches, four by four shifter, and your eight speed automatic transmission. Get your keyless entry with the remote start and the flipper key. That's a really nice chunky key fob. You also have the leather wrapped dash, which I really like on the Saharas. The passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition as well. And then this Sky One Touch power top. We'll open that in just a second. Assistant SOS buttons, uh, auto dimming mirror, and your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. So this is the button you use to open that. It takes about 18 to 20 seconds. So let's open it up. So that one actually goes pretty quick. That was only about uh, 17 seconds, 16 seconds. Anyways, so I'll show you how that looks in just a second. We'll officially start it. It probably won't do anything. So it's officially started right now. I could put it in a drive and uh, ready to go. Obviously it says ready there. So that's um, a good indicator. Let's go take a look under the hood. Also check out those LED lights. See how bright they are. Definite, de definitely, if you're looking at a Wrangler, there it goes, now it's started up. But I was gonna say, if you're looking at a Wrangler before 2024, uh, you wanna definitely get those LED lights. They are definitely a huge upgrade over the halogens. They are super bright and uh, definitely something you're gonna want. And this one has it, so that's great. Under the hood, we have the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Like I said, with the hybrid system, 375 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque. Engine base very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off, and it is 100% ready to go. You can see that orange, um, wire or uh, cable right there. That's part of that hybrid system. Anything in orange is the hybrid system. There is the emissions sticker. And this Jeep is 100% ready to go. Really a sweet ride. Do one more final walk around here. Also wanted to show you what that Sky One Touch looks like when it's all opened up. But we'll do one more final walk around with all the lights on and the uh, top open. I would highly recommend this Jeep Wrangler from a quality and condition standpoint. I think whoever's going to get this one's going to absolutely love it. I would ship it back to Michigan. I'd ship it to California, Texas, New York, Florida. Whoever's going to get this Jeep is going to be very, very happy with it. And to see more pictures of this Wrangler or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, Minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we gotta go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you wanna check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates and videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and SUV walkarounds on YouTube. And stay current on our ever-changing and vast Jeep Wrangler inventory, so you do not miss out on gems like this one. We have over 500 Wrangler videos up on our YouTube page, in fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to help you with this ultra clean, like new 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara 4xe in hydro blue Pro Coat with the Sky One Touch 
top. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I would personally really appreciate it. And uh, thanks again, and have a great day.